the grads are ready to process in. So grad class, 2022-2023, on you come. location we thought well i have to take quite a few of the chairs away and we'll just make it a bit more intimate um, but there's so many people who've come today to support which is terrific to see that we, uh, we we really didn't need to make many adjustments at all so thank you all for being here and, and welcome to the graduation ceremony it's such an important rite of passage at, at such a key stage of life and obviously this is this is that moment when grad class you'll be coming forward receiving a diploma and officially graduating. When I was sat in your seat there, I was heading to Edinburgh University to go and study geography, and I had a, a sort of thing for rivers. I really, really enjoyed physical geography and the different drainage patterns, and Thorin's looking at me as if he's a bit confused, like, how could you get excited about that? Um, but, but I sort of did, and, and I think they've been all sorts of metaphors used about rivers and their lengths and the variety of their meandering and you know that no two are the same and I think that what we have here and what we'll hear later on are just a really unique collective of people so um, look forward to we look forward to this this ceremony very much and on the topic of rivers I'm going to call Claire Nolly forward for our opening reading The River Cannot Go Back by Khalil Gibran. It is said that before entering the sea, a river trembles with fear. She looks back at the path she has traveled from the peaks of the mountains, the long winding road crossing forests and villages. And in front of her, she sees an ocean so vast that to enter, there seems nothing more than to disappear forever. But there is no other way. The river cannot go back. Nobody can go back. To go back is impossible in existence. The river needs to take the risk of entering the ocean because only then will fear disappear because that's where the river will know. It's not about disappearing into the ocean, but of becoming the ocean. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. And we've been lucky enough for our students to share in all the talents over the course of the year. And one student who's always come forward to, to play for us has been Lucy Cho. Her piano playing has just been an absolute delight. Um, we're honored that she'd play for us today at this event. Please welcome Lucy. Thank you. 
very much, Lucy. Spectacular as always. The grad class this year is 43 grads strong. A QMS record. Also, a very difficult challenge to squeeze 43 characters into a short story. So, if you were waiting to see what a shortage of caffeine in the Couch and Valley was going to do to Mei Ling, <laughs> or how Catalina Liang was going to play a nuanced caricature of Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> or how Jackson, Bennett, and Foran were going to secretly siphon the Glide Hall food stores into their backpacks for snacks later, <laughs> or how Paul Gammy was going to resurrect the ghost of the Centennial Fountain by singing Freddie Mercury's I Want to Break Free <laughs> at full volume, full volume in karaoke. Or how Daniel Lee's guitar skills are dependent on a little shamrock that he keeps stored in his curious pop-up ponytail. <laughs> and when he plays the wrong note, another piece of litter is dropped on campus, causing Mr. Robertson to breathe in heavily. <laughs> if you're waiting to hear about those sorts of things, you'll be a tad disappointed. If you have no idea why I said all of that, you'll be jolly confused. But if you are here for some highlights and significant moments, then we look forward to honouring the fine grad class of 2023 that we have mustered here at the front. Grads, we're going to recognise you in alphabetical order by last name. Please come forward on the right-hand side when you hear your name. You'll receive your diploma from the head of school. You'll then flip the tassel and your cap from the right side to the left. And then you'll shake hands and pause for a quick photograph before heading back to your seats. Now I'd like to call the head of school up to present the diplomas for the 2023 grad class. This grad can present as a man of few words, though he has been at QMS longer than a number of the school buildings and, and has been involved in many clubs and activities over the years. And this year has worked on some interesting projects within media arts and film. A generous and kind-hearted soul, he will cherish the friendships made in this grad class. His proudest, his proudest accomplishment at QMS is sitting here, having graduation at his fingertips. No two paths are the same, and this grad will take a gap year next year and explore his options. Please join me in congratulating Cayman Atkins. this year's student council and a hard-hitting tennis specialist. This grad also provided tutoring for peers. She was very proud to have finished her capstone project and holds fond memories of her outdoor ed experience. She thinks her grad class is so very incredible and absolutely ausgezeichnet. <laughs> While she has no specific plans or goals and is open-minded about her future, next year she will take a gap year, likely working and traveling in South America before attending university somewhere in Europe. Please join me in congratulating Marie Binden. <laughs> this sport captain was also the wrestling team captain and a coach assistant. Despite her athleticism, she won't be rushing back in a hurry to hike the Juan de Fuca Trail. <laughs> she values how different every, grad, every member of this grad class is, and her proudest accomplishment this year was passing Gen 12. <laughs> Next year, she will begin a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Calgary, and at some point, she would love to get a pilot's license. Please join me in congratulating Georgia Bond. for drama, of the theatre variety, 
This girl has enjoyed acting in school plays and remembers fondly her drama 11 class, as well as riding in grade 10. With plans on taking a gap year, she will exchange the Carachin Valley for the Greek islands and may also spend time discovering Australia. Beyond this lies the possibilities of a film-related course at university, so she can be part of the film industry with dreams of becoming a director. Please join me in congratulating Lindsay Brizzy. With a firm focus on academics and friendships, this grad has contributed to numerous QMS programs over the years, including equestrian, volleyball, stigma-free, and this year to grad leadership. Outdoor Ed is not always keenly anticipated by students, but the Juan de Fuca Trail will remain a memorable moment for her. Maintaining a strong core group of friends, she admires her grad class for its shared kindness and open-mindedness. She hopes to blaze a trail in the world of neuroscience or psychology, and on that note, next year, she will study a Bachelor of Science in Psychology at Queen's University. Please join me in congratulating Davina Burton. <laughs> a member of the badminton team, a STEM peer tutor, and a part of the Residence Dance Group of 2019-2020. This grad is destined for the University of Toronto and will study engineering. In her absence, please join me in congratulating Margaret Chen. <laughs> part of Gagan House and a member of the concert band who enjoys spending time with friends, this grad has a passion for skateboarding and next year looks forward to attending UBC Okanagan and studying management. In her absence, please join me in congratulating Chloe Chang. <laughs> this industrious grad has been a senior band captain, a string orchestra captain, a secretary at q -Man, and a member of the math and computer science club. She's challenged herself academically and socially, skipping two grades and trying hard to make new friends. She loves the sense of humor within her grad class and will remember fondly her outdoor ed experience. Next year, she will study international relations and international law at the University of Edinburgh, living in Pollock Halls, which was my address, 22 years ago. She looks forward to working in the diplomatic field and to exploring the world. Please join me in congratulating Lucy Cho. This grad was a member of the basketball team and played both soccer and badminton. He says he enjoyed life in general and more specifically, pestering William Zhao on a daily basis. <laughs> His professors at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, will likely not stand for that. He's studying digital enterprise management. In his absence, please join me in congratulating Adrian Chow. This grad is a proud member of the Stigma Free Club and Yearbook Club. She fondly recalls the Grade 12 breakfast back in November, as well as her outdoor ed experiences. Her capstone project, How to Become a Published Author, is her proudest accomplishment. And indeed, her dream is to write books and become an author herself. One of her memorable moments is presenting her autism video and what she likes about her grad class is how the people around her listen and understand her autism. With no intention, of, of attending university, this grad will begin exploring the exciting future ahead of her. Please join me in congratulating Jesse Akins. This grad had two of his teeth knocked out on a canoe trip 
public QMS, I might add, and came up smiling. He liked the fact it made him look more like a hockey player, because his hopes are one day to play in the NHL. It will take more than a couple of missing teeth. He uses athleticism and robust physique to good effect on both the senior basketball team and in the rugby program. In his absence, please join me in congratulating Teddy Feng. This stigma-free co-captain is nothing if not authentic. Demonstrating courage and sharing his personal experiences in chapel, he's valued by his peers. Rugby, strength and conditioning, drama are some of the activities he engaged with while at QMS. And he will forever remember the butter chicken, the plays, his unspoken riz, and his school dances. One day, he'd like to become a special ed teacher and perhaps contribute something to the acting industry. Please join me in congratulating Paul Gammy. artist and talented badminton player. This grad has helped create the culture in Gagan House over the past few years. She found the opportunities to lead, help to grow and develop. And she remembers clearly her outdoor ed experience and was very proud to get into college. She loves how positive her grad year is. And next year, she will attend the Ontario College of Art and Design in their illustration program. Please join me in congratulating Angela Gao. Grad has excelled in a variety of ways and feels she's met her academic goals while connecting with more of her peers this year. She holds strong memories for the Montreal Model UN trip and for her university acceptance and thinks of this grad class as accepting, supportive and welcoming. With the goal of pursuing international law and travelling next year, she will attend Queen Mary University of London studying law and politics. Please join me in congratulating Maya Harbour. Over the years, this grad has participated in numerous clubs at QMS, including the Sustainability, Astronomy, Art, and Reading Clubs. She will remember traveling to Vargas Island, the Between Fire and Ice skit her climate class performed, and taking care of Mr. Lask's fish, Barry. <laughs> Winning an award for her Remembrance Day poster, along with her grade 10 social studies pin, are proud accomplishments, and she really appreciates the sense of community and diversity within the grad class. Next year, she will enter the criminology program at VRU. Please join me in congratulating Savannah Hurd. <laughs> this round was a band captain and a member of our boarding community. She's delighted to have finished her finals and will keep memories of the last month of school as well as outdoor ed. A tight friendship with Christine will endure. And apart from flying around the world exploring new places, she looks forward to having fun in Toronto, where she will be next year studying hospitality and tourism management at Toronto Metropolitan University. Please join me in congratulating Riza Ishada. This year, book captain, along with Ms. Byer, can lay claim to a substantial responsibility for the publication going to print. She will remember finals week, although I'm not sure whether it's a fond memory. 
but our relationships with Ruza and Angela will certainly be cherished for many years to come. Our proudest accomplishment this year has been survival. <laughs> we hope the challenges of the year have set her up for computer science at UBC. Please join me in congratulating Christina Kang. member of the Prefect Council and a school ambassador. This crowd has been involved in a whole variety of areas like QMS, Sigma Free Club, Eco Club, Peer Tutoring, and Math Club, to name a few. She will remember singing a Punjabi song with Megumi and is very proud of becoming a Prefect, of achieving a scholarship and with attaining solid scores in her courses. She says the grad class is very friendly, funny, and helpful. She plans to become a doctor one day and is aiming towards a Bachelor of Science at UVic via Camosun College. Please join me in congratulating Safal Kowa. and MVPing three major competitive teams, one in each term, this grad has contributed magnificently to our QMS athletics program. He boasts many memorable moments, including Sarah's butter chicken, Mark's jokes, outdoor ed trips, post-Ken test relief, and making Jackson cry. <laughs> From laughter. He enjoyed the social aspects of school and harbors dreams of playing rugby in New Zealand and Italy or France. Next year, he will attend UVic for a Bachelor of Science degree, and of course, the rugby program. We'll benefit from his arrival. <laughs> I'm read that again. Next year, he'll attend UVic for a Bachelor of Science degree, and of course, the rugby program will benefit from his arrival. Please join me in congratulating Thorin Coyote. Prefect Council, this all-round sports enthusiast spent much of her time in the saddle training for Team QMS and preparing to compete at prestigious shows such as Thunderbird. She remembers dearly her first day at school here and is proud of getting through a challenging grade 12 year as well as doing her first 1 to 10 class. She loves the sense of humour within this grad class and will cherish the memories. Next year she will attend University of California Irvine and study Business Administration. Please join me in congratulating Aaliyah Lalonde. This lead guitarist demonstrated considerable courage as he performed for the school band 30 Feet. He, he ranks successful band performances as amongst his highest achievements, as well as his progress in physics and basketball. He was also the head of Denny House, helping the owls and owlets develop their, their boarding culture. And where there was a sporting opportunity, he was not far from it. He would love to become a scientist in the quantum physics area, or be a rock star on the worldwide stage. <laughs> I'm not sure what the center of that Venn diagram looks like regarding transferable skills. <laughs> Next year, he will study physical science at the University of Waterloo. Please join me in congratulating Daniel Lee. This grad enjoyed creating art. 
Her butterfly and bones piece was auctioned off for charity. Next year, she will study a Bachelor of Arts in Management at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. In her absence, please join me in congratulating Catalina Yang. This grad very much enjoyed spending time with friends and boarding and hopes to one day become a voiceover actress. Next year, she will be engaged in media studies at the University of Melbourne. In her absence, please join me in congratulating Sinki Yang. A member of Team QMS, this grad's highlights include the numerous horse shows she has ridden this year. Proud accomplishments are getting into university and graduating high school. And she's especially enamored with the carefree nature of this grad class. It is always worth setting lofty goals, and training camps in the Netherlands may help move her towards greater heights, and to ride in the Olympics one day would be a dream come true. Next year, I will study biology at Penn State University. Please join me in congratulating Aya Mady. This grad definitely shared his artistic process with the entire school, demonstrating how messy and iterative expression and communication can be, especially through paint or acrylic. One of his highlights was traveling to New York on a film trip, and he also created a clothing company for his capstone project, repurposing old clothes into fashion items. He's not decided on the next steps, but is thinking of art programs in the future. Please join me in congratulating Noah Marston. This grad has regularly frequented the tennis courts and the art spaces, and in the latter discipline is proud to have experienced the considerable growth she's made this year. An integral member of Gagan House, she could be seen laughing and chatting with her fellow boarders, and this has provided strong memories for her. She loves how supportive the grad class is and looking forward to attending the Universidad de Monterrey. Please, in her absence, please join me in congratulating Fernanda Mata. Dedicated to service, this grad has been a choir captain, the Gates, Gates House captain, a member of the service club, and an elementary school volunteer. She too highlights the outdoor road trip to Vargas Island, as well as bake sales and every buttered chicken lunch. <laughs> With many proud accomplishments, from spending over 24 hours in Miss Levine's grade three class to making the honor roll to volunteering at Providence Farms, this grad looks forward to working in education. And next year will attend BIU studying in their Bachelor of Education program. Her dream is to become a kindergarten teacher and to live in a cottage with a flower garden. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating Amy McCracken. This grad hopes one day to own his own business and to make a lot of money. <laughs> we wish him well in his goal and hope that it can keep him in nice cars. He also enjoyed exploring the fruits of equestrian, so perhaps that may lie in his future too. Next year, he will study digital media at Vancouver Island University in Nanaimo. Please join me in congratulating William McDermott.
Blessed with a great name. <laughs> Described as a member of the Prefect Council, an intense model un -er, a keen photographer, and a vigorous conversationalist. He did get a 5 out of 5 on his AP art portfolio. He did finish a challenging picture-hanging prefect project. And he did co-direct a committee at Gigi Man, and also attended his sons in Montreal and Viman, close to the home. He loves how well the grad class knows each other. And next year, he's excited by the prospect of seeing Europe on a gap year before hitting the urban planning books at Concordia in Montreal. Please join me in congratulating Alexander Monroe. This boarding student and talented artist and musician will take fond memories of the boarding house with her. She's grateful to have survived high school and is pleased to be graduating. She's found her grad class to be nice and helpful, and one day she hopes to help others as a psychologist or counsellor. We've enjoyed listening to her skills as a cellist within the strings orchestra, and next year we wish her well as she begins studies in life science at the University of Toronto. Please join me in congratulating Dee Dee Ning. After a successful year as a key member of the Prefect Council, the Deputy Head Prefect will remember her time with friends and will miss her time at the Equestrian Centre. Among her proud accomplishments, she lists surviving all her subjects, getting into university, and having a successful year as a Prefect. She loves that her grad class is such a mix of fun people who are always willing to help. She has aspirations of moving off the island and exploring the opportunities beyond. She will begin this next year as she sets sail for the nursing program at Queen's University. Please join me in congratulating Claire Nolly. With service at her core, we have this school prefect to thank for contributions to our yearbook, as well as spreading the joys of her baking skills throughout the community. She's a key influencer in the profit and loss statements for the local Starbucks franchises, <laughs> where she is glad they don't serve pizza bagels. She will fondly remember the small, family-like feel of QMS, her outdoor ed experiences, and Mr. Faber's humor. Getting into all four of the universities she applied to, she will study human kinetics at UBCO next year with dreams of marrying well. <laughs> Starting a family and living in a large mansion. We wish her luck in those life goals. But for now, please join me in congratulating Nailing Paris Charlton. Team QMS rider, a member of the boarding leadership team and the head prefect. This grad appreciates how well her grad class gets along together and how comfortable they all are talking to and hanging out with each other. She will miss her late night talks in Gagan, working with the prefects and annoying her teachers on a daily basis, her words. <laughs> Moving up in equestrian classes and becoming friends with some amazing people are proud accomplishments. But next year, she will make new friends at the University of Washington studying a pre-major in the arts and sciences with a plan to study in the Foster School of Business. Please join me in congratulating 
Sony Park. Deputy Head of Gagan House, this grad has enjoyed strengthening friendships through laughter and jokes. A keen Uno player, although perhaps not the most rule abiding, she will fondly remember Mr. Faber's English classes as well as her riding coach, Donna. She contributed to the yearbook this year and is proud of creating the red dress and red ribbon display. In the future, she looks forward to helping people who are overlooked as well as fostering a loving family. In the more immediate future, she will study at the University of Alberta, where she will major in psychology with a minor in Native Studies. Please join me in congratulating Ivy Sakobi. Sak practicing that last oh. name, and I just, just didn't crack up. <laughs> this grad was a multi-sport athlete who participated in the student council as well as led in Denny House as the deputy head of house. He remembers the basketball season and was very proud of gaining entry to Weston. I'm sure more of you made an impact on him. However, when reflecting on the grad class, he chose to highlight his fond friendship with Daniel. One day he hopes to be flying high as a pilot and next year, he will study commercial aviation management at Western University. Please join me in congratulating Anson Shi. This hardworking grad, both in the classroom and in the rowing shell, reflects fondly on numerous experiences at QMS. Teriyaki chicken drumsticks, <laughs> English with Noah Bird, Indigenous Studies 12, and having his tent flood in outdoor red. <laughs> he proudly achieved honors with distinction and claims amongst his other accomplishments to have made the Kia Soul iconic. Oh, <laughs> He's established strong friendships and looks forward to traveling the world, perhaps one day even skydiving in Antarctica. Next year, he'll be attending the University of Trent for registered nursing. Please join me in congratulating Jackson Smith. With silky soccer skills and a prolific right foot. This soccer star and sports captain has contributed to all sporting facets this year, motivated by playing with friends and performing at the provincials. She's reveled in the support provided at QMS, especially when it helped her survive a certain chemistry class, run by a certain Mr. Emil. <laughs> Delighted by acceptances into all programs she applied to next year, she will study nursing at Queen's University. Her hopes are to become a registered nurse to explore the world, and then to become a nurse practitioner. Please join me in congratulating Jenna Stanker. This grad is leaving with many things, including a strong sense of humor. His proud accomplishments include achieving merit role for two years running and graduating despite missing many assignments. <laughs> he is looking forward to traveling the world and causing mischief, fully armed and equipped with his grade 10 science award, a love of butter chicken and belts, 
and an appreciation of unique characters. He will stroll onto the VIU campus, sporting a wide smile, and get stuck into a bachelor of kinesiology. Please join me in congratulating Bennett Telfer. work ethic and a close connection to Liz T. This grad has made great steps with the language development during her time here at QMS. An avid writer, she can be found at the Shirley Bar Equestrian Centre and will remember dearly the six horse shows. She's proud of her navigation through high school in a new country and has enjoyed how friendly her classmates have been. She will keep studying hard with the goal of one day owning her own business. Next year, she is going to Hartbury University to study equine business management. Please join me in congratulating Coco Tian. This grad built what few can lay claim to, a zeppelin. Still weathering the disappointment of not receiving an A for that project. He fondly recalls his engineering 11 class and harbors hopes and dreams of owning his own airship, zeppelin or blimp. Surrounded by lots of unique people, over the years at QMS he's enjoyed engaging in D&D club and golf. Next year, if he's not studying architecture at the University of California, who will take on science at Vancouver Island University. Please join me in congratulating Denzel Van Oyen. This grad has participated in such a variety of QMS programs, ranging from sports, to theatre, to improv, to writing, to leadership, both in the prefect group as well as in admissions as an ambassador. It may not be as memorable for others as it was for her, but she cherishes the time she sang Taylor Swift at camp and identifies her prefect appointment as one of her proudest moments. She values the close community that is QMS and has eyes on a career in fashion design. Next year, she will attend Western, studying consumer behavior and retail management. Please join me in congratulating Gracie Williams. This grad played in a concert band, and she enjoyed spending time with friends in Gagan House. Next year, she will attend the University of Toronto and study social science. In her absence, please join me in congratulating Horace Zhang. <laughs> this grad was the captain of our eSports team, which was a great fit due to his love of video games. He could be found studying hard in his room between gaming sessions and was highly motivated to achieve a top grade. Next year, he will attend the University of Toronto, Mississauga, and will study commerce. In his absence, please join me in congratulating William Zhao. <laughs> Just have to mention it publicly. Hiya. Please forgive me for my slip up earlier. And let's give the grand class one final round of, of applause today.
and as tradition would have it, we will sing the school song heartily in a moment. And thank you to Ms. Hansen for accompanying us on the piano. Hopefully we can do this with a bit of power that might even test some of the tent pegs. <laughs> The school song. Please stand. majority of you tomorrow night for the graduation banquet so really really excited about that event and looking forward to it and finally I'll just pass you over to the head of school Mr Robertson. Thank you Andrew. So um, the words have all been spoken well until tomorrow night but Lots of wonderful uh, moments to cherish, I hope, grants today. Um, and a, a fitting reward for the way that you've approached your school. So again, thank you so much. Uh, just a couple of little things from me. Um, if you weren't here earlier on, um, you may not have um, registered our chair of the board, Mary, who was sitting up there. We spared her the... Uh, the ordeal of having to sit up here, um, but she has made, I'll ask you to stand so everybody knows who we are. She's done so much for our school. Mary Deleuze. <laughs> so in the, in the program, Kim says to me every year, oh, TBR, we need a quote. We need an appropriate quote in the program. So this one, I think, is particularly uh, appropriate. If you, still, if you haven't got your program in front of you, it says, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care, which is absolutely perfect for this grad class, and indeed, may I say it, 
for this school. We're, uh, we're very proud of everybody's efforts in taking us, bringing us to where we are and taking us to where we're going. My last thing is that, um, you know, sometimes in life something happens and at the time it seems just innocuous and you've no idea this is going to become a tradition. So I go back a few years now and it was probably our first year together, Andrew, and we were, half the grad class couldn't, couldn't be here for the grad gathering in the chapel as it was. So there were about 14 of the grad class here. We had a lovely little function over there, uh, just outside the chapel by the primary. And before I knew it, the grads were in the fountain. Soon to be joined, because he can never resist a dare, and they called him, by Mr. Monroe. He called me. And my first thought was, you're too old for this, Robertson. My th second thought was, come on, you're not too old. So in the fountain we went. Sadly, that seems to become a tradition, but with a grad class of 43, <laughs> Mary, we need a new fountain. <laughs> we need a bigger, better fountain. No, seriously, we'll see what happens. But, <laughs> I guess I've talked myself into it now. Um, no, just to finish by, by thanking you all again for your commitment and support. And uh, another thank you for the gentleman on, on my right who puts so much time and effort into trying to get these ceremonies just right. And you pulled it off again big time. Well done. And yes, I meant what I said earlier on. The school year is now officially over. Yeah! Oh, we've got all the cats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We're not now. We're not, not just yet. So, Brad, why don't you, in a moment, head over into that open space over there? Or did we say we're going to up here? Okay. Just behind. Very well rehearsed. So, just behind on the steps, you're going to come up and stand. Just spread yourselves out. Get ready with cap in hand for the launch. Okay. Uh, parents, family, friends. Come make your way forward, and when everyone's sort of ready and set, I'll just give you an okay or a thumbs up, and everyone's set with the camera, and we can get the, the cat launching moment. Okay, anyone, anyone keen to get a picture of this, the, the clear picture, come, come forward if you like. The cameras are all rolling and in position. We are going to launch in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Great pleasure, Nicole. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I, I just.